Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Place. Welcome back to the land of Qing, where we are enjoying our own little war in Asia. But we're also watching our brand new ally, Kiss 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 XOXOXO Commonwealth, as he invades the shit out of, out of the Ottomans. And this looks good, man. The Ottomans' capital has been sieged. There is no sign of the Ottomans' army anywhere. I'm feeling confident about attacking Uzbek here. I don't think the Ottomans would bother joining. Uh, yeah, see, it says they won't join. The Ottomans won't join. That's perfect. So why don't we go ahead and get an army over here ready to fight Uzbek. Uh, in fact, why don't we just bring this clown down. Yo, dude. I'm a bringing my clown down. Why y'all gotta bring my clown down? And why the hell do I have a soldier up here? I just have some random cannon just like, I'm a cannon, I'm a cannon, I'm a cannon, I'm a cannon. Just sitting in Russia. Whatever. Let's go. We're at war with Cham right now. But we're also going to declare on Uzbek. Ah, cool. We have Kord Pyongan. We have Kord Pyongan. It is ours, Pyongan. Oh, goodness. Just got to remember, in six years, we're going to have to declare on uh, Korea, Japan, and Ming. All separate wars, because they won't be in the uh, coalition anymore. Oh, that'll be beautiful. But if that's the case, I should probably be fabricating all over Ming. Especially a plate. No, that one's just a one base tax. Screw that one. Let's fabricate on Suzu. Anything that's got a decent base tax like that. Base tax 9, I love it. Continue. Oh, I thought it said Doge. It's actually Dij. Whatever. Good enough. Oh no, our army's under attack in Australia. Oh no, my diplomat has died. No! Diplomat, come back. Oh shit, there's only level 2s available. Oh, this is bad. Why? Look at these shitty choices! I'll take the trade efficiency guy, even though he's old. Fucking shitty, shitty choices. Goodness. Split up. Split up. And I guess just go back to Tajo. We're just going to full annex this guy. Oh, right. I need to send someone down here to Pegu. Who's this? Sean. That means I can walk through here. Am I at war with Ava? You bet your ass I am. All right. Let's take you down here. I want to start see... Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. I thought I could walk through here. Wait, I can't... I'm at war with Sean, aren't I? Oh, Sean didn't join the call to arms. Okay. Can I get access through Sadia then? We'll have to get access to Sadia, and then we'll just walk to Pegu. That's fine. That's fine. Spain has allied Malika. Uh-oh. No, don't, 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 don't. Spain is going to protect her at him. Don't do it, Spain. Don't do it. Crimea has started to westernize. Oh, that means he may not even join the war either if he's that fucked up. Uh, okay. Give me access, or give me death. Well, preferably just the access. Remind me to cancel my access in Sadia as soon as we're done over here. There you go. There. So I want to take one province from Pegu before we peace out, because that'll bring Pegu under 100% to a next. Right now he's at 109. So if I take at least something, like uh, right here, the sugar with four base tax, it's a good start, and then we can full annex him in the next war. Hopefully. In the meantime, though, let's see if we can do this. Are we ready? Are we ready? I think we're ready. Where's our troops? Uh, our troops are not there yet. Eh, whatever. And which one has the higher base tax? Bek Bekbalik or Urumki? Urumki is base 2. Bekbalik is base 2. Is there anything higher? Yeah, Hami is a base 4. Uh, let's go fabricate on Hami. While, we're, while our troops are still moving. Just fabricate on everything. Cool. Colonist has arrived. I need one more colonist so that I can go block off Spain down here. One more. Oh shit, he just finished Bailali. Fuck, where is he going next? He's... He hasn't chosen a place yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, if everything's green, that means he hasn't chosen a place to colonize yet. 
Yeah, he's not going anywhere. Oh, is he over there? That's him right there, isn't it? That's him. See how it's gray, but if I go here, it's it's red. That means that's where he's going. That's Spain. All right, good to know. So he's avoiding uh, what's left of Australia, and that's perfectly fine with me. Maybe he hasn't explored down, down there yet. If he can't see it, he can't colonize it, right? Joe, why are you giving me attrition? Fucking hell, Joe. Get off my case. Oh no, I was discovered fabricating on Ming. No! The Siege of Rebgong is over. Rebgong. Rebgong. Alright, to split up Siege Pagu and Mulmain, we'll piece them out separately. Now we may need a whole bunch of admin and diplo points just to piece out and core stuff in these wars. I hadn't even thought of that. We, we might need a lot of points. So we may want to switch our focus away from military now that we've now that we've caught up to the Western world and military tech. Everyone's tech 20, well, tech 21. We've pretty much caught up. We're five years ahead, six years ahead on tech. Uh, it's probably gonna make sense to switch our focus over to either admin or diplo. And I think the difference is gonna be how much does it, oh, probably admin. I think admin's just an easy one. Focus admin. We'll switch away from admin later on. Easy choice. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh shit, are you gonna attack me with your super general? Man, everyone around me just has these awesome generals. Look at this five shock motherfucker. Whereas I just have garbage. I've got a one zero. And he is confident enough to attack me. Which um, is a little silly, because he's not Western, and he's six decks behind us. But hey, you know what? At least he's giving it a fucking shot, right? I wouldn't respect him if he didn't give it a shot. Alright, so come at me, bro. Let's do it. You and me. Apparently your amazing general doesn't matter since my tech is so good. Yeah, how do you like me now? How do you like me now, punk bitch? Hmm. Oh, I'm I did it. I squished him. I was gonna say I didn't I didn't beat the end of the month, but I did. We got there on the last day of the month, so he didn't get his morale bonus. Nah, take that, you son of a bitch. I like it. I could spread out and siege, but I'm not gonna. Ah, Easter Island, which is colonized by Spain. Okay. Wow, Portugal really went ham on South Africa. Wow. Holy shit, Portugal. That is that is a lot of colonizing. Now, South Africa's colonies have changed to include a lot more provinces than before, which is cool. I'm not sure if the base tax is any different. It's similar. Whoa, look at France. Okay, another province fallen. Good, good. And we're almost ready over here. Hey, our troops are finally arriving. That didn't take long. It took a long time. These troops, wow. Many troops, such wow. Alright, come on up. And we should be almost done. There we go. Diplomat's home. Declare me some war. Yeah, Ottomans are not going to join. I'm surprised Crimea is going to join, but eh, whatever. Why not? Come on in, Crimea. The more the merrier. Uh, yeah. Now, we're, we're not a horde anymore, but it sure feels like we're a horde. It feels like we just got to keep beating the crap out of everyone. Spain has declared war on Pegu. Overseas expansion. All right, well, that's kind of bad for us, but I guess it doesn't matter at the end of the day. We're going to take any of this land anyway. Uh, Spain, do you have a claim or something? No, Spain has no claims. He just wants the land, which is fine. I guess I can understand that. I want the land too, but I saw it first, so hands off, Spain. The difference is because Spain has overseas expansion CB, 
He can full annex Pagu. Uh, overseas expansion reduces the cost to annex by, I think, 50% or 25%. It's much cheaper to annex using overseas expansion. So he can full annex Pagu even when we're not able to, which kind of sucks. Nah, whatever. Oh, the well, as they say. All right, you're going to split up. You're going to split up. And we are going to try to siege a lot of this shit in a quick fashion cuz we're down we're down 50k on manpower and I don't want to stay there. I want to just get into this war and get out as fast as possible. Rival of rival Ottomans. Take Bilal, achieve religious unity. Or we're not going to go for religious unity. But rival of rival, that's definitely possible. Uh, who is it? Oh, Ottomans opinion 125. That's not going to happen. It is not going to happen. Finish the last exploration idea to get overseas expansion? No. Uh, the last exploration idea gives you uh, permanent CB against pagans. Pagans are like shamanists, totemists, stuff like that. It doesn't include uh, these guys down here who are uh, Buddhist. Those aren't pagans. It's different. Quite different. Also, maybe I can support rebels somewhere. <laughs> oh, I should just keep fabricating on Japan. What am I talking about? Fabricate. I'm going to eat you, Japan. In five years, you die. So I'm going to happen. Split up and go. Split up and go. And the reason we're standing in Ili is because that is the one province that borders... Uh, our br yeah, it's the one province that passes between our lands. So it's... It's the only way he can get through here, unless he wants to go all the way around, like getting access to the Muggles. I don't think he can get access to the Muggles, though. He probably doesn't even like the Muggles. Yeah, he's not giving access right now. Probably not a possibility. Yes, expansion is the one that you need for all the nations over here. But um, I don't think we need it. We might want to get it, just because we're going to be going to war in Asia quite a bit. So expansion would help us out there. But, eh. We might, we might not. We'll see. In the meantime, we're going to eat the shit out of these guys. Meow wants to be my vassal. Korea wants to lick my boots. Ming wants to let me fabricate more claims. I think I have a claim on Ninbo. Nope, get it back. Give me that claim on Ninbo again. Ninbo. Ningbo. Whatever. Just claim that shit. Are you seriously attacking me? Yeah, this fucker is actually attacking me. Uh, okay. Oh, goddammit, Pathing. So this guy was halfway to Sidom, and he was going from Sidom to Kakalik to Karkin. And now I tell him, no, 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 don't go all the way to Karkin, just stop in Kakalik. But... He decides to say, okay, I'm going to go through Yumin then. Even though he was going through Karkalik this way, through Sidom. Fuck the pathing. The pathing is so messed up in this game. It's terrible. It has not been addressed since release day, which is just... Oh, it's sad. All right, get down there and help. We're probably going to lose that army, though. Gosh darn it. Actually, they're holding out pretty well. 20 guys versus 5, and they're actually defending pretty well. Oh shit, now we're getting attacked over here. God, the pathing was so bad. Oh, lost that battle. Didn't lose the army, though. Who's this? This is Kazakh with a good general. Okay. Now, I may want to take Kazakh as a vassal, because he has so much land to feed. I think I do. Having Kazakh as a vassal leaves us a lot of ability to, you know, maneuver around the region pretty easily. 
uh, and just feed him stuff. Feed, must feed. There goes Taungu. Okay, that army's toast. Split up and move on. Split up and move on. Great Britain wants an alliance. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Britain wants an alliance because he hates Spain. We both hate Spain, therefore Britain wants an alliance. I am not opposed to that. Britain's got good tech across the board. His navy is not as big or as good as Spain and Portugal's combined. Spain and Portugal's combined is massive, and they're always allied. But having Britain as a buddy could be a viable option in a naval war. Could be. Don't quote me on that. Could be a terrible option. Uh, every time I've ever relied on Britain, they've always let me down in one way or another. Which kind of sucks, because it, sometimes they really get things right. But for the... Yeah, wow, there's Spain's death sack. He's like, I don't need a general. I can take out these primitives with my 39 stack of nothing. Generals are for pussies. Well, you're not wrong, Spain. Okay. There we go. One province down. Move on. Split up. Move on. Aha! Mulmain. Alright, let me see if I can peace out for just Mulmain. Oh, I don't have a diplomat. Okay, well, get me a diplomat. So I can peace out Mulmain. And then we'll go in ex-chom. Calm? Whatever. We'll next those morons. Pigu wants to give me war reparations. No. Sorry, but I want Mulmain because I can... Oh, Wichita's annexing. Wichita's westernizing. I want Mulmain because I can annex it. I can core it. I can reach it. Lose admin or lose prestige? Of course, lose prestige. What's that? Ottoman sent a warning to Venice. Dude, you just you guys just got crushed. Now, nothing was lost. The Ottomans did not lose anything in that war. Despite losing the war, they weren't the war leader. The Golden Horde was the war leader, and the Golden Horde got full annexed. But the Ottomans themselves didn't lose anything at all. Which is kind of good, kind of bad. It's kind of good because they are always an option for a possible alliance. They may be able to... I mean, they did finish westernizing. So they may be able to catch up, and then they'd be a good ally to use against someone like Spain. Because they can probably defeat Spain on the ground. I don't think they can defeat Spain at sea. Guaranteed. No, no. They can't defeat Spain at sea. But they might be able to defeat Spain on the ground with the help of someone like the Commonwealth. Or the help of someone like France or Sweden or Britain or someone. Uh, the Ottomans can just spam troops. And if they do tech up, since they're Western, they should be able to tech up quickly. If they do tech up, then I'm confident that they could beat Spain on the ground. So having them as an option is, is kind of a good thing, but... Hami. Hami, 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 Hami. Whoa, 32 stack. Where is that going? Come to gone. They're going here. 32 stack. Okay, well, tell you what. I'll meet you there. We'll bring as many as we can to that fight. Because why the hell not? We're actually holding out pretty well. Ah, human's done. Cool. Who's this? Chom wants peace. No, I'm sorry, Chom. I got shit to do, man. I got bills to pay. Wow, Spain. F 30 troops. 39 troops wasn't enough, so he came over and dropped off three more. Four more. 39 wasn't enough. Yeah. Whatever. He must have, like, a giant transport navy. Yeah, we won that battle. Look at that. Wow. Cool beans. 
All right, there goes Pegu. Let's see if he'll peace out now. We got his capital and his best province. I just want Mulmain, that's it. Yeah, he'll give me that. Okay, done. Corrit, increase autonomy. Uh, yeah, put some troops there. We can always go pick them up later on. But for now, just keep it safe. Shouldn't really get a whole lot of revolt risk down there. It won't core very quickly because we don't have a claim on it, but eh, whatever. Mapuchi is westernizing, okay. Mapuchi. Let's get relations up with Ayudhaya and Malacca. I'm thinking we might want to be buddy buddies with some of these clowns. Not long term, but short term. Who am I at war with? I'm at war with Cham, Ava, Shan, Uzbek, Crimea, Kazakh, Yarkand, Sarig Yogur, just some random stuff. Nothing important. These are just wars that we're going to have between the real wars with Japan and Korea. And I say those are real wars because those are wars that I actually care about. These wars are so too easy. They're filler. This is filler material right here, folks. This is to keep me and you entertained while we wait for the opportunity to beat the shit out of Korea, Japan, and Ming. And since there's 15 troops here, actually 16, why don't we go ahead and take this opportunity to upgrade our transport fleet from uh, 13 ships to 20 ships. So let's get seven more transports. Or however many that is. I think that's 10 more. All right, cancel one of those, cancel one of those. Whatever, build whatever. I want like 20 ships, 20 transports, something like that. No, you can't have peace, I'm sorry, it hasn't been long enough. Now the war leader down here is Cham, but since he's not the only guy in the war, we have to wait five years before we can actually full annex him, because you don't get 100% unless you full siege. And I don't have any access over there, so, ah. And we finished our claim on Ninbo. Let's get one more claim on Japan. And we'll be all set for him. I think we need two more on Korea. All in due time. Ah, Malacca is improving relations with us. All right, you want an alliance, dude? No, he doesn't want an alliance. Oh, but it's only because we're at war. Yeah, as soon as, he, as, soon as we finish the war, he'll's like, yeah, okay. All right, you guys, let's go Yeah, Beat the shit out of you. Three more years until the war with Japan and Korea. Indeed, that's why we're going for claims. Uh, we should be ready, yeah, three years. Should be good. And I think we can start pulling our troops home, because this is, this war is just pretty much over. So go back to Beijing, and we're going to let our vassals do a lot of the work up here. We, we've done we've done a lot. Perm's up here. Perm's kicking ass. What's your tech, Perm? Perm is same tech as us. Okay. Yeah, Perm's two techs ahead of Russia. That's how you know things are going well. But he's not fabricating any claims, and that it just bothers me. He should be fabricating claims. Why aren't you fabricating claims, Perm? What kind of a vassal are you where you don't fabricate claims? What the fuck, Perm? All right, let's keep rolling troops home. We don't need to stand here anymore. I'm not being a dick to Spain. He has he has like 40 transports. He could walk, he could sail around any day he wants. Look at this. Even even Austria has sailed ships down here to help Spain siege this land up. That's how easy it is to beat up Pegu. You know? Even Austria is invading from the sea. Austria, who has like two sea tiles. Alright, pick him up. Come back to Beijing. Zazu is westernizing. Who the fuck is Zazu? Someone in Africa is westernizing. Okay. The Commonwealth has declared on Crimea. Okay. Since I'm already at war with Crimea, that's fine, I guess. 
And yeah, the Ottomans are not the defender of the faith anymore, so they're not going to join. Poor Ottomans. No defender of the faith for them. Cancel military access. Ah, good idea. Uh, yeah, let's do that first. So we stop wasting our points. It really is a waste of points if you don't stop that. There we go. And then go back to Aidha, yeah? Look at my relationships for what? Alliance, March, Vassal, Vassal. I think we're good on relations. I might still take Kazakh as a vassal in this war. I'm not sure if I want it. I do want it, but I'm not sure if I should take it. Getting him as a vassal right now would mean we could feed him all this shit in the course of, you know, two or three wars with Nogai, Uzbek, and the Mughals. Which sounds fun. Alright, get the fuck out of there. What's our supply limit in Beijing? Wow, 120 supply limit in the capital. Also, we should definitely keep building stuff. I can't believe how much stuff there is still to build. There's a lot that we still need to build. Um, <laughs> These should be level 3s so that we can move around more easily. A lot of this stuff just has shit terrain, so it's hard to move around. But if we make them level 3s, it's easier. There goes all of our cash. Worth it. Totally worth it. Ah, new missions. What's available? Did Air westernize? Yeah, a lot of nations in West Africa did westernize, including Air. Uh, what's stupid, though, is he collapsed. He westernized, and then he collapsed to rebels, like, a month later. And he lost all of this land. So, I, I don't like that mechanic. It's like, yeah, you can finish westernizing, but then you lose all this shit. But you get to keep your westernization. You shouldn't be able to keep your westernization if you collapse to rebels right after you finish. You should lose all that progress. Ah, whatever. I've already bitched about it before. Uh, we could bulb that thing. I'm not gonna. Some more transports. Good, good. Hopefully one of my vassals will go seed Kazakh. Let me set this as a target for Joe. Because Kazakh only has the one province, and I need it sieged if I want to take him as a vassal. Portugal is improving relations with us. Are you kidding me? What changed, Portugal? Why do you suddenly want an alliance? You know what? I don't know, but that's interesting. Because just a minute ago, he was hostile. You know, with the fire, and now he's gone friendly. There shouldn't be massive flips in personality like that. It doesn't make sense. You know? It just doesn't make sense. Oh, shit, Malacca's colonizing down here. Fuck you, Malacca. Get out of Australia, you son of a bitch. Two, three, four. So he can't get a colony if I do that. Maybe I'll go here and I'll let him get a colony? Nah. I don't want to be that generous. I definitely want to block off the inland area here. We can colonize it at our leisure. Or not even at all, and just let our colonial nation do it. That's an even better idea. Uh, who's almost done? Chinook, you don't have a colonist. Yeah, I think I'll take this guy out, because you just don't need it. And let's run over here. There we go. So the inland of Australia is secure. Yay, yay! Should really sound more excited than that. If Spain attacks Qing, he has to fight the Commonwealth, Portugal, and Great Britain. No, I do not have allies with Portugal and Great Britain. Claim on Bungo, very nice. So that's all of our claims on Japan. Let's keep getting claims on Korea. So that we're ready to declare on day one. I want to make sure we don't miss out. Oh, we've already done it. And we've already done Japan. 
Yup, so we have all the claims we can get on Korea and Japan. Uh, let's get a couple more claims over here. Jinhua, base 3, base 5. I guess I'll go for the base 5. Zhenjiang. Okay. Wow, still not 100%. When did this war start? All right, next year it'll go 100%. Man, I really didn't want to wait five years. But what choice do we have? Wow. So I set this as a target for Joe, and he's not going there. He just ignores it. The, the target system doesn't work. Spain is an absolute monarchy. Okay. Okay. Rebels. Oh, I don't care about that. They're not my rebels. Hm. Joe is fighting Uzbek's rebels. God damn it, Joe. Mughals is the defender of the Sunni faith. Okay. You go, Mughals. I'm a real boy now. Group up our transports. We should have at least 20 now, I think. We got uh, 23. Fine. So it should be easy to uh, get our troops back and forth to wherever we need to go with 23 transports, I think. Why do I pronounce Korea wrong as two syllables and not one? Uh, I, I don't think it's even possible to pronounce Korea with, two with one syllable. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no way you can pronounce Korea with one syllable. Shit, lose stability or lose diplo? I'll lose the stability because I'm already focused on admin, so it's probably okay. Ouch. God damn it, Emperor, you and your shitty reputation. Always getting us in trouble. Trouble? Can Orisa form the Muggles? N no. I, well, I mean, yes and no. You can. Anyone can form anyone as long as you culture shift and as long as the nation doesn't require you to start as a specific nation. But you know what? We're out of time for this episode today. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time where we'll peace out Cham. We'll peace out Uzbek. And we're going to get ready to declare on our coalition, which will not actually have a coalition when we declare. So we're going to go eat Korea, who is 92%. We're going to eat Japan, who is... 82% uh, and we're going to eat a little bit of Ming uh, but that'll be next time I'll see you then, have a good day yay we have an ally ah, shiny new ally and Portugal wants an alliance too and France wants an alliance and Britain wants an alliance look at all these people that want an alliance ah